you know, like how we ginger man. Screaming down the air. Screaming down the the headphones. Hello, 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 the headphones. Hello, hello. I'm Patrick Patterson. Um, the band is Simande. We hail from way, way back in the 70s, and we've come back after a break or an absence of 40 years. Ronnie Scott's club is quite important to us because this is one of the venues that Simande, along with many other um, black acts in the day, um, played. It's a venue that I certainly have visited many times and seen many great artists here. In particular, I remember coming to see uh, Rasan Roland Kirk um, on a number of occasions, um, Nina Simone on a couple of occasions. I think I even saw Buddy Rich here. So I have a high respect for the club, and it's, it must be the most famous club um, in England and compete with other jazz venues around the world. I'm Steve Skippy, a uh, bassist in Simande. Uh, um, it's, it, it's great being back here at Ronnie's, uh, to tell the truth. Um, after all these years, uh, our first appearance as Simande, well, first appearances, I should say, because we used to play upstairs, cut our teeth upstairs um, at Ronnie's, um, and we uh, developed a lot of the songs, a lot of the music that we uh, recorded on the albums were uh, developed and uh, completed to some extent uh, upstairs at Ronnie's. Um, and we also played downstairs just before we started the, the US tour in, the, in 1973. So that, that was a great experience. But quite apart from playing here as well, you know, just like Patrick, I, I visited this place on so many occasions. Um, uh, I saw the, the, the three acts that he referred to. I also saw Art Blakey, um, which was a, a, a fantastic uh, experience. So it's, it's Ronnie's is, is iconic. I mean, you can't mention Ronnie to anyone in England. Ronnie's to anyone in England, and they will not be aware of, of the club and what it, what it stands for and what it has stood for over the years. Well, first of all, we're all, we're from, we're Caribbean, but we are from different places within the Caribbean. So we'll have in us, in any event, those cultural influences, cultural and the musical influence, you know, calypsos and all those things. But our music comprises calypso, it comprises jazz, it comprises rock, um, uh, high life. funk, uh, uh, high life, soul, and all those things, reggae. all the reggae. reggae. And those things are really um, part of our, of our um, musical development. Uh, Patrick and I, the first band we had before Seaman, there was a band called Meter. And Meter, it, it was actually spelled M-E-T-R-E, which is, you know, time signatures thing. And that was what the band experimented with. So we did things 7, 8, 6, 8, 5, 4, 3, 4. We did a lot of time signatures. And uh, got a fair bit of recognition from the... Um, the musicians' union people um, and the jazz musicians that were around at that at that time it was a four-piece band, so that was our jazz influences. And then after that, before we formed Simande, uh, we played with um, uh, a Nigerian uh, musician uh, with Ginger the Afro Johnson. Ginger Johnson, and actually he was probably the the initiator of the Afro beating mm. in the UK. <clears throat> Uh, and we played with him for a while. So we had those influences coming in from, from, uh, from the Nigerian Afrobeat thing. And then, you know, um, Patrick was a great um, uh, rock, fan. rock fan. Well, in particular, he was a fan of um, Jimi Hendrix. Um, and you'll see some of, you'll hear some of his rock influences coming out in songs like, uh, like Dove, certainly the solo part of Dove, you hear some of those influences. Well, we came to know it yeah. because we discovered that the, the band's music had been sampled a lot. Um, I think the first sample we knew of was um, 
It wasn't Bouj de la, it wasn't no, Bouj de la so, was late, That was late, yeah? Mm. yeah. Score, wasn't it for the Fugees? No, no, that was late. Was late. Oh, there's a Wu Tang clan. Yeah. Wu Tang clan was Wu-Tang. early, and then there was the other Fera man. Oh. Um, anyway, we got to know. Um, De La Soul. De La Soul. Yeah. yeah. We got to know about um, the spread of the music through the fact that it was sampled, and then it was used in, in a couple of films. Spike Lee used it, it was used in adverts. Um, so, and, you know, from the press and from the information on the internet, we got to understand the extent to which. The, the name of the band, the music of the band had, had, had stayed kind of current and had been influential, particularly in the uh, rap genre. Um, mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> so, I mean, and that itself was a, a, a wonderful thing, you know. Uh, I'm a big one for sampling because it's an extension, if you like, of, of, of art forms. It's creating art from art, so I don't have any problem with it, provided whoever creates the art from art acknowledges the art that they've created mm-hmm. their art from, yeah, you know? Yeah, sure. So it's all yeah. cool. He was a very funny man. It was, I, I, you can't really describe what kind of humor it was. Dead fun, dry. Uh, dead, yeah, dry, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so that, that, you know, I don't think you can top that. So if you want to find humor and that, Bad jokes. Bad that, 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 well, not, not necessarily bad jokes, but, but kind of sums up this place. It's, it's the way that Ronnie Scott used to um, just set the trend, set the feel, you know, introduced the artist and what he said. I think that, that kind of sums it up. There's nothing I can think of that I can say, well, so, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's there, you know. I don't think that I've seen anything substantial in terms of, 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 you know, either the standard or the quality of music that goes on here. Um, it's, that's been so consistent. It's, it's very comfortable, very accommodating, great sound. I don't think that that much has changed for me in terms of coming to Rodney. The, the, the word kudos is right. And it's, it's, it's been, it's, it's a great institution. It's an institution now and, you know, not much changes in the institutions, I suppose. We can't put that on, Finn. <laughs> <laughs>